Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to dress down a navy jacket. Hi, I'm Leah from Rampley Co. And today I'm joined by Austin, a menswear enthusiast. So hey, Austin. Hi. Tell us a little something about yourself. Sure, uh, so I'm from Chicago. I moved to London a couple of years ago and I've always been really interested in menswear and found myself sort of floating in and around the London menswear scene reading all of the blogs and just digesting as much as I can being in the city now, which is, let's say, more sartorially inclined than uh, Chicago. Oh, that's great that you're here. Um, so what can you tell us about this look that you've put together for us? So this is a look that I wear quite often. It is, uh, what we're doing here is we're dressing down a tailored jacket, which I think is one of the most relevant ways to dress these days, because this look here will be formal enough for most business settings, but it also will not look out of place at a pub or a restaurant after work. That said, there are certain style elements that you should pay attention to when you are dressing down a tailored jacket. In certain things that I look for, my eye generally starts from the top of the jacket and works its way to the bottom. So the first thing is the shoulder line. I think that a jacket with more natural, softer shoulders lends itself to being dressed more casually than, for example, a jacket with much stronger, more sculpted shoulders. The second is the lapel. There are three lapel shapes, a shawl, a peak, and a notch. This is a notch lapel, which again is the most casual of the three and lends itself to being dressed down. So working down from the lapel to the pocket, which is the next style element that I like to consider when dressing down a tailored jacket, so this jacket has a flap pocket, as do most tailored jackets. And I would be completely fine leaving the house with a flap pocket, but personally, I like to actually tuck in the flap pocket to make what's called a jetted pocket. And the reason that I like to do that is when you're dressing down a tailored jacket, oftentimes people's attention might be on the more casual aspects of your outfit, like your trousers. And so I want to keep the jacket a little bit more streamlined, which I think a jetted pocket does. And then lastly are the jacket's vents. There are three types of vents, uh, vent options when it comes to tailored jackets. No vents, a single vent, or a double vent. Luckily, double vents are the norm, uh, which is what this jacket has and which is what I'm wearing here. And it's also the most casual of the three options. So again, it lends itself to being dressed out. And what do you like about the material of this jacket? So this is quite a rich, deep navy, which normally would lend itself to being more formal, but because this is actually a woolen fabric, it has a lot of uh, texture to it, and in fact, there's a slight herringbone pattern going through it. Those aspects give it a more casual, laid-back nature, compared to, for example, a worsted suit fabric that tends to be a little bit shinier and finer that obviously um, is more at home in a place of business than you know being dressed down with casual trousers. Absolutely, and talking of trousers, what would you pair this with typically? Jeans, chinos? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I'm a big fan of wearing tailored garments with denim. Um, you have to pay particular attention to the wash of the denim. So I think a nice mid blue wash denim fits perfectly with most tailored options. Um, if Denim is maybe a little bit too casual for you. Chinos are always a safe bet. And lastly, uh, corduroy. Um, I would go for the finer whale corduroy than the, than the larger whale. Larger tends to be maybe a little bit too casual, but this jacket with, let's say, some gray uh, corduroy trousers would be just spot on. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So with that in mind, what kind of shoes would you finish that look off with? This is the beautiful thing about dressing down uh, a tailored jacket is that you can really let your personality come through. Um, if maybe it's you know a day about town and I know there's gonna be a lot of walking, I'll actually throw on a crisp white pair of trainers. Um, and I, I love that look. Uh, alternatively, I oftentimes wear uh, leather tassel loafers, even with the denim that I have on now. It gives it a little bit more formality uh, but for me, tassel loafers, uh, they're, they're sort of unusual these days and therefore maybe a little bit more fun and playful. I see that you've uh, not paired a tie with this look because obviously we're talking about a more dress down approach. Would there ever be an occasion you would possibly wear a tie with this? Yeah, 100%. I mean, this again, we're talking about a tailored jacket, so of course you can wear a tie with it. I would go for something 
more fun. And again, this is another part of the outfit where, you, where your personality can really shine through. Um, something unusual will be a Shantung silk tie, uh, which isn't something that you see every day. And um, you could go with a, uh, a rep, a stripe tie, which would also give it a little bit of a, a preppy look and it's not too dressy. So you could go with a tie or you could go without a tie. That's great. Um, and the pocket square, would there be any colors you'd avoid or would you go crazy and try lots of different colors? Yeah, I mean, like the tie, you know, I, I want to say you can go crazy, but of course, keep it within reason. Um, this is another area where your personality can really shine through. So you could go with a classic white linen or silk pocket square, and that would be totally fine. It would look very gorgeous with this outfit. But, you know, I say why not do something a little bit more interesting. And then the gold and navy is just a very dashing combination. Um, really, you know, this is, uh, it, if you have a, a wide variety of pocket squares, I say just, you know, try and find one that, you know, it's really fun and complements the casual nature of your outfit. And finally, uh, talk about the color in the pocket square. Is there a color that you would pair it with with a shirt other than white? Gold and, uh, and light blue would look beautiful. I think even a chambray shirt or a denim shirt with this would be uh, a little bit um, unexpected, but the gold pocket square and the denim really is a punchy combination that I would personally wear all day long. All the products featured are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.